Things my ex did and I stayed. He once locked me out of my house because he felt ignored when I worked and wanted me to learn what it felt like. When he knew he was paying the bill, he told me to stop ordering food. Told me it really turned him on how much I looked like his mom. No! No! <laughs> he wouldn't have sex with me unless I worked out three times per week. <laughs> he would rip or throw away my clothes if he thought they were too revealing. Went on a secret skydiving date and hooked up with my best friend, then continued to hang out with us in a group till she finally admitted it to me one year later. No. Wouldn't let me shower alone. Would hide my laptop because he felt like I was more committed to my work, which I was, until I- So the level of women's entitlement is out of control. Like their ego is so inflated nowadays. Like it's unbelievable. And this is not even me being petty or complaining or anything, but I'm telling you how it is, you know? You will notice this for yourself. If you're a man out there, go outside from the real world and interact with a woman and see where her head's at. You will know all you need to know. It's no wonder why men are refusing to date nowadays. I mean, who can blame them, right? You got women who are four feet nothing, right? Looking for men who are like six foot two and above, right? You got women that are living with their parents, yet they want a man to have a house and have all his shit together. Meanwhile, they don't, right? You got women who are here who are making the border minimum salary a year, right? And they want men who are making half a million to a million dollar a year. Like, how crazy are these standards? I sure am not the only one who think this way, bro. A lot of men out there, bro, <laughs> they're on the same boat. You know, that's why they're really frustrated. They're like, man, they're done. That's it. Yeah, like, I mean, you get the picture, right? I don't even have to keep going anymore. Like, you get it how it is. But anyways, yo, we got another video, man. Uh, make sure to click the like button and subscribe, yo. Let's go. Our exes did and we still stayed. Wait. Do you want to go first? You want to go first? <laughs> bit my face because I wanted to go home for the night. <laughs> you win already? <laughs> Snapchatted nudes to 10 plus other girls after a year of being together. Bit my when he was eating it. Why did he bite it? He thought that's how you ate it. Cause I asked him the same question. <laughs> <laughs> got <laughs> please. Got drunk and told me I needed to chill because I've been on them pills. Literally referring to antibiotics I was on because I had swollen lymph nodes. He thought it was affecting your behavior. He was like, you know, you've been on them pills. You don't even know what you're saying. You know, you've been on them pills. I was like, my antibiotics. Where is his brain? Not in the room with us. <laughs> Had my mom arrested. <laughs> I need to know the story time on that one. I can't. Not right now, like, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> Please threatened to unalive himself if I didn't pick up the phone after he verbally abused me all night. <laughs> Bought three pairs of sneakers instead of helping me with the rent. My last one I had is. Um... <laughs> Please. Pushed me into a locker on the first day of school and called me a smut. <laughs> Bro, what? <sighs> Kicked me out of Christmas dinner with his family because his other girlfriend was coming in, right? But like, so in the moment you knew? No, he was just like, come with me somewhere. Come with me, we gotta go do something right now. Like, we gotta go do something. And then in the car, he was crying. What What was the reason for crying in the moment? Well, cause I love Christmas and like, he didn't have a good excuse. So he was so just- So he felt- he was The tears were real. Yeah, he was just taking me back home. That's what we had to go do. 
Is that your last one? I have one more. My last one is threw iced tea at my head right after I got in from getting my salon installed. That shit was like four hours. And and what it can you reenact it? Well, I I don't know. Like he would just get mad randomly, and I had just got home from my hair appointment, and he threw mm -hmm. styrofoam cup, mm -hmm. and he threw it at me, and it's splashed all over the door and everything and my hair started getting curly it was like a blend in sewing you and right. then he was like i didn't do that when i brought it up i was like why would you do that like, it was an out of body experience and we still see at this point man i'm convinced that you guys are just with these men because you guys are desperate like yeah that doesn't make any sense like how would you still stick when the man is being like this <laughs> like the dude you're dating i don't think he i think he's a child bro i think he's like a teenager or something there's no way an actual man would behave like this man this is ridiculous you know and i'm not even gonna stick up to them i'm not gonna defend them because yo straight up who you're dating is a weirdo if they're doing this like they're biting your kitty bro <laughs> they're biting your face like what, what what do they want like cannibalism are you dating cannibalist or what <laughs> like that's crazy bro like i mean you gotta be on some desperate shit for you to still like withstand all of this that's ridiculous man you know but i also wonder what you did to them too because you know if we ask them why they stick with you i'm pretty sure they can name reasons as to why they should have ran the wrong time as well right I mean, you must have done something as well. There's no way you were the angel, the perfectly good to, goody two shoes on these relationships, right? So I mean, uh, girls always like to, you know, victimize themselves, play the goody two shoes. Meanwhile, we know they did the most as well. So I guess maybe, maybe you guys deserved each other, you weirdo. I caught a cheater during the solar eclipse, and I know for the people who scrolled back up when you heard the cheese man, the gossip. Hi, welcome back, nosy. Anyways. My best friend, Diana, who I've known since we were in second grade. She's been married to this guy for eight and a half years. I just caught the guy, literally, a few moments ago at a solar eclipse watch party. Like any normal human being, I bought the little glasses I went to go see. And then guess who I see at the watch party? I see the husband of eight and a half years all hugged up on some hood rat. So I call up Diana. I'm like, hey, girl, are you next to your husband? I know you do hood rat activities, but I don't think this is the same one. And she's like, no, I'm at work. And I send pictures, I send videos. She's like, oh my God, is that the girl that he told me not to worry about and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl, you need to get here quick. So she hangs up and then calls me back a few seconds later. She goes, I'm bringing my manager. I'll tell you later. What the hell? Click. She gets to the location in under five minutes. She flew, okay? Got here. I meet the manager. Katrina is her name. Thank you again, Diana, for allowing me to tell the story and the names. They are all real. I got permission, okay? Diana goes up to the husband. I can't believe you start smacking him eight and a half years down the drain. Do you know I'm five months pregnant? Everyone is like, oh my God. And now people are turning their phones over because we caught the cheater. So they're going to be posting videos about all this. And of course, Diana's probably going to post her reaction and whatnot. So Diana is yelling at the husband. But you're asking yourself, what about the hood rat? Well, she's facing away from the altercation, but then just so happens to turn around. And then Katrina, the manager that she brought, says the thing that blew everyone away. You ready? The hood rat turns around. Katrina looks at her and she goes, oh, that's my little sister. I can't even tell if this is real or if it's just a skit or it's a story. Like, you know, I'm having a hard time imagining this. Like, so you caught your friend, you know, husband, whatever, boyfriend cheating. You just happened to be on the right place at the right time, catching him cheating during the solar eclipse. And she comes with her boss and turns out it's the boss's sister. Like, how small is the city you're living in? You know, like, is it only like 10 people, bro? That's it? Like, you're all dating each other and all? Like, you know, so <laughs> you all are just switching partners. There's not enough, like, partners to go around. It's like... How much is a population here? Like, it's gotta be a small, small place for this to be happening. It's ridiculous, you know? But I mean, it. I wanna hear part two, actually. I wanna hear how this story develops. Quite interesting, you know? <laughs> I feel like, man, there's gotta be at least 10 to 20 people in this whole village, bro. You know? <laughs> so, I mean, it's so bad for those cheaters out there because they, they can't even go far, bro. 
You know, you're going to be cheating your whole town already knows, bro. Right before you even finish your business, your whole town already in your business. Things my ex did and I stayed. He once locked me out of my house because he felt ignored when I worked and wanted me to learn what it felt like. When he knew he was paying the bill, he told me to stop ordering food. Told me it really turned him on how much I looked like his mom. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> he wouldn't have sex with me unless I worked out three times per week. <laughs> he would rip or throw away my clothes if he thought they were too revealing. Went on a secret skydiving date and hooked up with my best friend, then continued to hang out with us in a group till she finally admitted it to me one year later. No. Wouldn't let me shower alone. Would hide my laptop because he felt like I was more committed to my work, which I was, until I'd sleep with him. Cheated on me at a Halloween party with another girl who was also wearing skull makeup. No. Took a picture kissing her, and when I found the photo the next day, he tried to tell me that he didn't realize it wasn't me. Oh my... No. <laughs> on my life. Left the sunroof of my car open during a rainstorm and flooded it to the top of the car and wouldn't help me pay for the damages. You know, at this point, I'm curious to ask these women, like, why do you guys break up for the final straw? Because to me, it looks like all of these points they've done, you know, deserved a bit of a breakup. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should have broke up a long time ago. I wonder what was the final straw? Because... I don't think there could be anything worse than that. Like, you know, one chick is saying that her man was hooking up with her friend or something and she still stayed. So, I mean, he technically was cheating on you, but you still stayed. So why did you break up in the end? Like, don't tell me like maybe, you know, he started snoring or something. Like, it's, watch be like the dumbest excuse. Maybe at the end she's gonna be like, oh, you know, he forgot to make me breakfast on Mother's Day or, you know, something like that. Or he forgot to get me flowers and it's like, yeah, but you stayed with him when he was doing the most. And now the littlest thing is what caused you to break up with him. You know, like it's it's quite ironic. You know what I mean? I find that they chose to stay with a man no matter what he was doing. So I feel like at this point they should have still been with that man. Because that means that goes on to prove that there is nothing worse that men could have done for them to leave. Like what's worse then getting locked out of the house what's worse than getting cheated on what's worse than all of this tell me what he else he could have done and what's worse than getting compared like his mom like you know what i mean in a weird creepy way like what what's worse than that he could have done for you to leave because all of you guys i guess now have broken up with these men, right so i wonder i want to i want you guys to share your stories of what made you break up with him for the final time because you guys are withstanding all these nonsense they're doing so why all of a sudden now right? i just had to cut my girl off because i just moved her into my place and then she's telling me she wants to go 50 50. you were broke i moved you into my place and you're asking me to go 50 50. i don't tolerate disrespect i don't pay bills i'm in my soft guy era what do you not understand at this point i think this bitch hates me Oh, no, and there's more because she said, oh, let's have a little night out. Like, I want to treat my man, my man, my man. I said, OK, calm down. I'm in my soft guy era. Right. This girl took me to Olive Garden. Bitch, who are you? Because you're not my girl. Olive Garden. What is Olive Garden? I literally you know what I did? I left. I called an Uber and I went back home because I am not tolerating disrespect because what it looks like to me. It's giving fucking broke. You have no fucking money. My last girl took me to STK. And you're out here trying to take me to Olive Garden. Bitch, go to yeah, so apparently the men have spoken. They're on their soft guy era. And the meaning about behind this is from women's standards. You see women, they, they, they act like this. So these guys, I guess they're mimicking the women, right? The women always ask for too much, right? You know, they'd be like, oh, I broke up with a dude who'd been supporting me for seven years when i was broke and i was in college studying for my blah 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 he was paying my bills doing this driving me here driving me there in the end i got my degree and i dumped him you know what i'm saying that's how girls be telling you stories like so i guess now the dudes have joined this movement you know where now they're they're feeling like they're not gonna date any less they expect more so this is their standard now they've leveled up their standards you see dudes normal dudes were they were taking the end of the bait here. They were taking anything they could get, right? Or they were withstanding so much and putting up with so many women's 
crazy antics here but now it's like you know they've had enough now they wanna now, now they're joining their own movement now they're prioritizing their own standards so that's what this sub guy era thing means things are ex's day and we stayed say the guy I lost um when i met his parents i was 15 he was 19 and he told me to tell his parents that i was 18. <laughs> I was going through his text this one night and he texted his friend calling me a weird bitch. Okay, um, my ex bought me a fake Cartier bracelet and told me it was real. Mine was yelling at me. Mine was yelling at me outside of a bar so loud that these random girls I didn't know asked me if I needed help. Had a guy tell me he loved me after five days of meeting him. I had a guy give me a promise ring, take a picture of it, send it to another girl, say it was for her, give it to me, and then steal it from me. And then lied about all that. Oh, I have one actually. <laughs> Okay, stole my favorite sweatpants from me, won't give them back, and then I saw him wearing them around school. <laughs> okay, he stole my sister's favorite sweatshirt that was mine, and then gave it to his current girlfriend and <gasps> wouldn't give it back oh to me. Man, these girls are dating straight up weirdos, bro. Like, straight up, bro. Like, that dude that was dating that chick when she was 15 and made her lie to his parents. Bro, you're out of pocket for that. I don't know why you would be doing that. And you got some other dudes here stealing these chick's sweatpants. And you got another <laughs> you got another dude here buying a promise ring, taking a picture and giving it to another girl and then giving it to her and then stealing it. Like, bro, what kind of people are you guys dating, man? Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is the reason why I don't get women sometimes, right? Because like, yet, you know, they go through experiences like this, but yet they withstand it. You know what I'm saying, right? Like the dude's doing the most, you know? This is the red right flags right off the bat. You should have ran right but no no you're gonna stick it through it's not until later all of a sudden you know when he decides to ghost you or something i don't know maybe he switches up on you or something like or something little something small all of a sudden now she wants to end it for for real but it's like you know you you could have ended it way sooner you know he's done way worse than what he did now right maybe it's her birthday or something he gave her a gift she didn't like now now she has a voice to say oh it's officially over i don't want to be with you anymore but yet she withstood all those other 10 things which were way worse than what he just did now she withstood all of those and stayed with him but now it's like oh all of a sudden she want to go and what he did now is not even as bad as what he did before prior you know what i'm saying it's, it's just like these women man i think they go through seasons bro you know <laughs> It has to be seasons, you know. They're happy one season, the next season, boom, that's it. I think they, they, that's why they, they, they follow these horoscopes, you know. They make their decisions based on horoscopes and dates of the month and seasons and all that. So it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The soft guy era is hitting different over there. He almost pulled his hamstring kicking them flowers. The soft guy era is hitting different. If a woman is not meeting your standards, we're not talking to them. They want a man that makes six figures. They want a man that's six feet, has a six pack, has everything going on for him, but they come with nothing. This is what you do. This is, exact, this is exactly how you move. Listen, the provider mindset is finished. It's 2024. These women are working. They ask for equality, and that's fine. We love a woman that gets her bag. You know it. You and your soft guy era. We love a woman that's going to spend that money. That's it. If she's not spending money on you, why are you talking to her? She's not coming in to help on these bills or even pay all the bills. Why are you talking to her as a man? Have some self-respect. You going to work every day, working hard, busting your tail for your family, and she's contributing what? Nothing? I'm being super serious here. I'm not even trolling no more. I couldn't imagine working 60, 70, 80 hours a week as a man solo, and I have my family at home, and I got to provide not only for my kids, but for my wife, a grown, capable woman of making more money to help me out. Imagine just being a regular guy, bro. Paying all the bills off your one income, even if you're making 100000 in inflation, this 100000 is the new 50000 So just imagine you're feeding your family and you're just getting by damn near off your one income. And your wife is just sitting back watching you. Man, get in the field and get to work. What are we doing? Just I couldn't imagine working that much and just breaking my back and slaving like that unless it's just for my kids. That's fine. But for a grown, healthy woman, first off, is she really like you? She wouldn't let you break your back and slave like that. She would be willing to pitch in. But if she's not helping you, she doesn't like you like that. She likes what you do for you. Yeah, I think he said it all. What we needed to hear, right? Like, just what I told you, man. The soft guy era is men not, ex not accepting any less, bro. Right? Men prioritizing their own standards, boy. <laughs> Just this video of him, bro, kicking the, the flowers just got to me, bro. It's a, it's a little funny, bro. <laughs> he 
you know it's funny because like when you see women right the bridesmaids whatever when this flower is thrown they're the ones running for it and now look at the men bro they're the ones running away from it bro <laughs> my dude here even kicked it bro as if it's a football bro <laughs> it's hilarious ain't it but um yeah what he was saying here right makes perfectly sense right because I think women nowadays they ask for way too much and they underappreciate men, right? They want a man who does this, who does it all, you know. They want uh, men, of, men of all trades, but yet they don't bring nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they don't even bring a helping hand or even any skills to add on to it, right? So I mean, it makes sense as to why this soft guy era movement, a lot of men are participating or they're, you know. Um, they're making it a point because it's it's how women are nowadays right it's how they act this is 2024 but yet look how they move bro back in the days you know if we go back into maybe the 40s and even earlier women weren't like this bro. you know man their standards was a little bit way simpler right it was just for a good decent man that will pay the bills take care of them you know give them a great life as well and she would stay home raise the fat raise the kids cook clean no complaints. But look at it nowadays. Five guys. What? Miss if you want five guys. I don't think I can handle that. Oh, you mean you can't handle five guys? No, I don't think so. That's it's kind of a lot to throw at somebody randomly. Rachel, it's just five guys. Okay, well then can I pick them? I doubt me I try to tell you you can. Okay, well I have some people in mind. What, what people? What do you mean? I have some people in mind. If you're wanting to do this, I have some people in mind. I probably have their numbers in my phone. What the really rats you are telling me? A five guys. Yes, I know. Light Santa Ross, but nobody home. R Rachel, you know something I talk about a restaurant, right? The restaurant? Yeah, five guys, the restaurant. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. So what you did think me a talk about? Eh? The restaurant. Yeah, not even to make fun of blondes, but this is what they mean by a typical blonde. She's having a blonde moment right here. Like, I wonder what kind of five guys she was thinking about. <laughs> Her mind was thinking about different different meaning behind this, you know. My dude here is talking about restaurant, he's talking about burgers, yeah, she She's already thinking about dudes, sausages, you know what I'm saying? Her mind is in the gutter. Ain't it funny though? <laughs> oh man, oh man, right? This is how you know she for the streets. This is a clear sign, clear indication. You know, and the funniest thing I want to know is like, did he take her back? Like after the, this whole thing, did he just... Because the, the, the perfect move for him would be to just turn his back and walk away, bro. Like if he continued this whole relationship or whatever they have... He shouldn't be surprised what comes down the road. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, one day he probably goes home and finds her cheating with five dudes. He shouldn't be shocked at all. Because, like, he already got the, the hint right there, right? He got the memo. He should have got the memo. I hope he did, you know? Because that's crazy, bro. Like, if you're going to ignore this, man, and later on crazy stuff start happening, you know? Like, she's doing the most and you're coming home and... You have no right to get mad. You have no right to victimize yourself because you have this as an indicator, right? So some dudes be like that, man. They ignore the red flags and then later on they act like the victim. Oh, I didn't see it coming. Meanwhile, it's like, yo, day one, she was showing you those flags. One weakness that all straight guys have is that when they're around women and there are other men who they might see as competition, their insecurities will show so obviously that it's embarrassing I walked up to my friend uh, at a party, a, a girlfriend that I have, and um, I started talking to her, and there was this dude that was talking to her before I walked up, and as soon as I started talking to her and she started talking back to me, he got in close, you know, wrapped her, wrapped his arm, like, around her, like, neck and shit, like, started, like, you know, like, getting in, like, trying to cuddle her. It got so bad to the point where I, like, in the middle of talking to her, I was like, excuse me, mama, you're good. Like, you, like, you, like, you don't have to, you don't have to do all this, like, He's like, oh, no, bro, like, don't worry. I was like, I am worried for her because you're about to decapitate her. She's almost purple. Like, don't crash out right now. I don't, like, you're safe. And it's just so funny because, like, do you not think I notice what you're, like, what you do? Like, do you think? Yeah, I've noticed this too, man. Go anywhere, man. And as well, a lot of guys, 
they tend to have this behavior where they switch up like you be talking to a dude man he'd be like the toughest man out there you know what i'm saying he's portraying this gangster image he's not smiling he's hard you know what i'm saying but all of a sudden a beautiful chick walks in bro watch him turn now he's talking like he's a like a 10 year old girl bro his voice is all squeaky he's like a kid you know he's childish making lamest jokes that ain't even funny he's laughing at everything she's saying he's trying the most you know <laughs> we've all been there we've seen this at that point you know like this dude gotta be dry then that sahara desert like he must have not had any action since maybe before world war one it has to be that long bro because like the way some of these dudes act it's like man they're so protective bro you know they're protective they act the most they do the most it's like they're petty and it's like you know i get it you want to mark your territory i get it it's yours but at the end it's unnecessary because i'm pretty sure she can feel it too you know um because they feel like a threat and i think like if you have confidence in yourself right and um you're confident in your own abilities your own skill set you shouldn't be feeling like this at the end you should be confident that she will choose you over them right so a lot of guys feel like they're in competition just as soon as another dude walks in it's like no just play your cards right you know if you play all your cards right leave it to her she will do the choosing right if she's feeling you she'll be with you if not then yeah the other dude you can't do nothing about that so i mean these dudes that are doing the most and grabbing and squeezing and trying to like you know hold on to her so she doesn't get snapped out of their paws it's like bro you just look stupid when i say this you guys are going to be confused and look at me crazy but i broke up with my girl of three years and we were planning to get married in a year and shout out to my man's mark for coming forward and telling his story you empowered me to tell mine so this girl stuck with me i had 80k student loan debt 25k in credit card debt i also had a failing business right but she stuck with me she actually moved me into her own place and she actually let me use her car to drive so I can sell mine to literally get out of my credit card debt. I mean, man, when I mean I was working at the warehouse, yo, I was working at the warehouse. She would literally Uber Eats me food with the little money she had to show me her appreciation. Nah, because I've been wanting to cry because... When nobody else believed in me, like, you know what I'm saying? My family didn't believe in me. Like, she believed in me. But it was just something about her that I knew that she wasn't the perfect girl. I knew there was something better out there for me. She was a good girl. And she believed in me when no one else did. But there's something better. So, I just... <laughs> this is the soft guy era again, you know? <laughs> That's funny, man. Um yeah i mean there's a joke between if you read behind if you if you read between the lines you'll understand it's a joke some dudes don't get it some dudes are like oh how could he do that like what is he he's a dickhead you know like no nah. he's making a point this is how women are right this is how they act nowadays right the dude that's been with them from day one all of a sudden they switch up on him the moment they're like out of those circumstances like let's say you know they were both poor they met in like you know at the end of high school or something they went to college together you know they were college sweethearts or whatever the hell after college the moment you know she got that diploma or whatever she graduated now she moved into a bigger city bro she is she's forgetting about this dude bro she, you know she's erasing her past all of them college dudes she been around with she slept with all that crazy sh she did in college and she's erasing that part of her life and including her boyfriend the one who supported her you know the one who gave her the money who you know was her mental support system who helped her get through that whole college who motivated her who helped her in so many different levels she's just gonna toss him out the window that's how i mean like they're so selfish and entitled it's like damn like you know so that's what's what he means right um this whole thing it's like a satire right here what he's doing this whole uh skit but uh yeah man <laughs> this is the era the sad boy era so we all like to talk about how nigerian men are wicked and everything fine 
But I'm going to tell you a story about how Nigerian women can be wicked when one girl dated me and eight of my friends in the span of one year. So, for those of you that don't know, I started the biggest beach party in Nigeria called Sunday at Ilashe. And at Sunday Ilashe, you see so many beautiful women. Remember that for context. Before I started Sunday at Ilashe, I started seeing this beautiful baddie in Lagos, right? Everything went well. We sped up things quick. A month into this, everything's been going well. She eventually asked me, like, yo, what are we? Now, at this time, I had just started my business. I had just started over because COVID had just finished. So I wasn't mentally in the right space to date officially, but I really liked this girl. But the thing is, when you tell a Nigerian girl you're not ready and she really likes you, she cuts you off to protect herself. Fine. Speed up two months later, Sunday Lachet has started. Things are picking up. Fine. And I invited the girl to come. She had a great time. A month later, I start shooting a skit with some of my boys. For those of you that watch my TikTok, you know a lot of my skits or story times are real life shit, right? So I'm describing to my boys a scenario with one girl. Three of them. Three of them. Start listening to my story and say, wait to. This story sounds familiar with one girl. Myra, the girl, was she at Sunday at Ilashe? What? Does she live in this area? What, what do you mean? Does she like watching cartoons and doing... How do you know? Does she also like doing this thing where they describe this girl to a T that, just like that, four of us have found out we've dated the same girl in the span of a few months. How did this girl meet all of us? Sunday at Ilashe. I can't make this up. Now, does she know... We were friends, I don't know. But the four of us did not even know we were seeing the same girl and she did the same thing to all of us. Now, that's four already. A month later, two of my guys messaged me in separate times like, yo, Mike, there's this girl I started seeing and all that, you know. I met her at your beach party, da, 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 da. So obviously, I'm going to act naive and say, oh, what, what girl is this? They send me the photo. It's the girl. So just like that, that's six of my guys. That we have all seen the same girl then only for me to find out in december when two of my boys fly in they don't even live in lagos so they now say yo my what there's this girl we met you know we took her out she's a baddie and all that but she's been playing this game they show me the girl so just like that in the calendar year this girl has gone through me and seven of my friends like that playing all of us and it was so bad that all of us were still caught up on this girl for so long i don't know what kind of special pum pum power this girl has eh but i cannot lie to you it took some time before i eventually said man fuck this girl to cut her off yeah man just like that she has a roster of eight of us and you guys see nigerian men are bad i have never dated more than i've not been dated two friends at the same time this girl has Bro, that's disgusting, bro. But it does happen. Let me tell you that. It does happen, man. Even in your own city right now, wherever you are, trust me, there's probably a girl you're seeing right now. She's already done this, you know? Um, it's, it's always funny. That's why I always say, like, if you guys want to know whether, you know, you're dating the same girl with some other dude, whatever, just uh, go to your boys and show your boys pictures. Ask them if they know, you know? Because most of the times, bro, your boys are probably talking to her too. Especially, like, if you guys are meeting these chicks of, like, Tinder, Bumble, all these dating sites. It's like, bro, chances are they're matching with your boys too. So, like, the moment they come to your house, you know, you guys do your own little fooling around under the sheets. The moment they leave, they're going to link up with your buddy. You may not know this at the moment, right? But that's what they're going to do, right? They're going to go link up with a buddy. After that, they're going to go link with his buddy. It's a whole full circle. And I'm... I'm convinced at the end of this, man, one day you're going to find we're all big, happy family, bro. We all share part of the DNA. That's how it goes, man. Like, man, as wild as it seems, bro, or as wild as it sounds, that's how it is. All right. <laughs> Some girls be moving like this, bro. Their roster is like pretty jam-packed, man. They're just catching bodies left, right, center, you know? <laughs> the worst part is when you find this years later and you're like, damn, man. Right? You never expect it. It just hits you in the back of your head. You're like, man, I thought she was proper. I thought I was the only dude. Meanwhile, it was like the whole squad was in it, right? <laughs> There's a text on my husband's phone, and it says that it's from maybe and the person's name. You know when you don't have a number saved. But it's a familiar name because I'm like, this is the chick that works at my daughter's school. So instantly, I'm like, hey, why is this girl texting you? And second, how did she even get your number? And this man is like, babe, honest to God, I have no idea how this chick got my number. But I'm like, hey, you know what? I got post-traumatic bug boy syndrome, right? So I'm like, lying, lying, your honor, he's lying. 
we quickly dropped the conversation because I really don't like to talk about that stuff in front of the kids, right? But yesterday, when I picked up my daughter, she gets in the car. She's like, Mom, I asked her, I'm sorry, you, you did what? I asked her how she got my dad's number. Ma ma this is grown folk business. What, what are you talking about? This little girl's like, but you're my mom, so that's my business. Child! She's just sitting there like she did nothing wrong. She's like, but don't worry, dad's telling the truth. He didn't give her his number. And y'all, I swear, I look at her and I'm like, you, you, are, you are me. I birth a me. Why? Why would God do this to me? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense why your daughter would go ask for it. Because, like, your daughter is your mini you. You know, that's what I always say. Like, kids, man, they, they copy the behavior. They, they get so much influence from the parents. Especially if you have a girl, she's going to get influence from the woman. If you have a, a son, he's going to get influence from the man, right? So, I mean, parents play a huge role in their children's lives, right? So, if the parent is a bad role model, trust me, bro, that kid is going to end up like him bro you know so as a parent out there man it's always great to be the greatest role model because like your kid is 2.0 version of you just like her here her, her daughter is already petty and is already like her exactly like her went and addressed the fact went then confronted that teacher you know straight up <laughs> no shame at all you know and she's pretty shocked but it's like yeah that's your behavior you know she's 2.0 version of you so why are you even shocked so that's why it's like sometimes people tend to think that children are so dumb you know like like they're not gonna understand this they're just too young like you know they they say the most or they do the most but they don't realize that children are absorbing all of this like a sponge you know and man i'm telling you there's some kids out there who see their parents you know drinking smoking and all bro what do you th what do you think they do when their parents are not home or they're out there with their friends in school like you know in elementary they're like maybe in grade five grade six what do you think they're doing out there you know they're already badly influenced they're gonna have a cigarette on they're gonna be doing the most because they learn from you right so mm. yeah, with me. he broke up with you oh what a dick well what'd you do <laughs> <laughs> what'd you do what'd you do what'd you do what'd you do what was the reason um, I'm too much of a partier you're too much of a partier yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, as far as red flags go, you know what I mean? For several reasons. Where'd you meet him? No, like Hinge. Hinge? Okay, wait, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on dating apps because I don't have that problem. No, no, no. Um, but... <laughs> DMV men, they don't approach women. DMV men don't approach women? No. Really? Do guys, do y'all feel like that's accurate? I feel like yeah. Damn, really? Silence? I thought y'all were gonna be like, nah, we, we take what we want. No, I'm just like, nah, you know, if they're, if they're interested, we'll come over here. Damn, y'all gotta be more aggressive. Exactly. To a, to a limit. <laughs> <laughs> there's, obviously, there's obviously a cutoff point. Um, so you prefer for the guy to be the aggressor? Yeah, for sure. Alright, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the fact that she was kind of playing a victim a little bit, right? Trying to say like, oh, he broke up with me. Oh, poor me. I'm the victim, blah, blah, blah. She didn't really say she's a victim, but she's playing that card. And at the end, you find out why he broke up. You're like, oh, makes sense. Of course. You know, that's why you always got to find out the reason. I like, you know a lot of dudes out there when they meet up chick whatever she gonna sugarcoat her whole dating life and be like yeah my ex broke up with me i did so much for him blah 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 and then you find out why did he break up oh you were partying oh you were out there like that oh that's what you were doing oh he wasn't cool with that of course not no guy would be cool with that you know what i mean so it makes sense why he broke up with you right but some sims out there don't understand that and they should record it and be like oh he's messing out you're the prize you're this and that it's like no nah, man she's toxic she's the worst you know she was out there doing the most you're just trying to get it that's why you're hyping her up you know so it's you gotta check them you gotta tell them how it is all right ladies the men have decided if you can't beat them join them so drizzle drizzle to your sprinkle sprinkle Okay, at the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man, those things are all bad. Put them away. Okay, they said no problem. They have no problem being in their soft guy era. 
So I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. And while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right, well, they've decided to match your sass and now they're embracing it. So I hope that you get everything that you wanted because ladies, y'all have created some monsters, okay? Uh, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. Drizzle, drizzle. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is, this is related to all those soft guy era videos I was just talking about, right? That I just showed you a couple, couple videos back, right? So she nailed it right there. She's explaining, she's talking to the women, telling them exactly what they need to hear because they called this upon themselves right because they're the ones out here shaming men for being men shaming men for doing many things so now the men are in their stop guy era right they're like they decided they're like you know what i'm gonna act like you 2.0 version of you so you gotta take that responsibility of treating me like you know like how i should be treated you know so they upped up their standards which is great it's a little movement it's a little funny i hope it raises a point it makes a point that it need, you know that they're trying to make right i hope a lot of women get to understand this side of men you know what i mean they get to feel like what men feel like or what they go through right so a lot of that's that's a little bit undermined right a lot of women don't really get that they just they're so used to being a woman that they can't really comprehend what it's like to be a man so now they'll get a taste of their own medicine right so I'm pretty sure they wouldn't even be able to last a day, man. Pretty, pretty sure by the end of this, they're going to just come back running and be like, okay, okay, I was wrong. You know, you can take back your role. I want to be the girl now. <laughs> I don't want to be the dude in the relationship, you know. They're going to come back running, bro. They're going to come back crying. Trust me. Anyways, yo, that's it, man. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe. Catch you next time. Easy.